everyone. started at nine today as you're coming in please like and let others know they should like okay so type it in there like please so that we can get this as as far as we can praise god if you're new subscribe you're welcome hallelujah share this word as well take a second to share this on your uh on your whatsapp groups and friends list if you have any or to family let people know that the lord is about to release a word this word may bless somebody that is on your whatsapp list but you don't know so please take a moment to share and to like let's get the word of god as far as we can go ahead as you do may the lord bless you as you're sharing may the lord bless you may the lord prosper you as you are sharing his word come on now let's do some evangelism family take a minute take a minute to share with somebody on facebook on whatsapp Amen. Praise God. Tell somebody that, that the Lord has, has a word for them. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm giving you all a few more seconds to go. Keep sharing. The Lord sees you. He sees what you're doing. And there is a reward. <laughs> Amen. 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 Don't be idle. Please go ahead and share and like. Amen. Praise God. Don't be in a haste to receive from the Lord. Let us do some, some evangelism very quickly. This one is very powerful. This one is very, very important. I'm not going to do too much ministering or preaching. Really, we are just going to be talking today, family. Okay? So, so get ready. Hallelujah. As the Spirit of God leads. Thank you, Lord. We're going to worship now. All right. Well done, everyone. For, for all those that did that, God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Let us get into the word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's begin to worship. Wherever you are right now, begin to worship the Lord. worship you Jesus sing a song unto the Lord I sing praises to your name oh Lord I sing praises to your name come on somebody Jesus for your name is great and greatly Emmanuel, there's no one like you, Lord, in the 
this place we lift up your holy name we lift up your holy name oh lord for your name is great and great be praised be praised be praised be praised be praise, jesus be praised jesus be praised jesus we praise jesus we praise you Emmanuel. We praise you, El Shaddai. We praise you, Ayam, Nanayam. We praise you, mighty God. The one who passed the red seas. The one who brings the dead back to life. The one who puts the child in the womb. The one who caused the wall of Jericho to fall down flat. The one who comes to deliver you. The one who comes to heal you. The one who comes to open your eyes and open your ears. The one who comes to touch you when you're less expected. The one who speaks a word over you. The one who you know he's wanting to be praised so we are going to sound the sign what did i say family put that in the live chat please somebody put that in the live chat somebody who loves the lord put that in the live chat if you love god put that in the live chat if you don't love the lord don't do anything don't do nothing but if you love jesus i need you right now to type in the live chat and say out of your mouth it is time to sound the sign do you understand sound it sound the sign s-i-g-n sign sound the sign you want to see signs and wonders you want to see your faith over that promise be, um you know i'm come to manifest comes to being uh, fulfilled we are in the hour to sound sound the sign let me turn this my prophetic instrumental down. I need you all to hear yourselves today. Not to, to, just to hear me, but then to hear yourselves today. Because we are about to sound the sign. Do you understand? We're about to do what the word of God says about what you speak is what you know you receive. You speak death, you receive that. You speak life, you're gonna eat the fruit of it. Hallelujah. So we are in the hour to sound. I hope you all are not getting tired of these live streams because they are here to build you okay so we are sounding it is time to sound the sign okay it is time to sound the sign i just have the scripture coming back to me in um isaiah 53 uh, verse 7 and 8 that, that, that keeps on speaking about when jesus was you know been taken to the cross and then they were about to you know crucify him and all of that i keep on having that um come back to me that you know the lord had every power and every authority right to cause uh, a change to happen and to open his mouth and decree instantly and say no not happening right now not on my watch i'm not about to be sacrificed for any who know which which nation israel could right he could have been able to call to call on right a battalion of uh, angels for our rescue anything that he needed but he didn't and because he didn't exactly what was meant to happen when you don't speak was what happened but the lord obviously what's it out for our good what's it out for my good hey jesus amen was god's plan for you and i so if jesus didn't speak when he was about to be slain and slaughtered for our own sake for our own good Hallelujah. Even when the enemy told, oh, okay, well, I won't. No, you didn't win because he was raised up. He was raised up. Somebody say he was raised up. He was raised up. So it because Jesus did not sound the sign, it allowed for what the Father ordained to happen in that hour to him, which was the perfect sacrifice that was needed for you and not in that hour. But if he wanted to, we're getting somewhere, if he needed to, he would have, he would have spoken of the creed something, and then if it was the Lord's will, listen. Because every good gift comes from the Father. If it was of the Father's will, let me tell you what will happen. Nobody will be able to touch him. Do you all understand what I'm trying to say? But you see, there had to be that sacrifice. But now that Christ has been sacrificed, you do not need to be the sacrifice anymore, okay? So you need to sound the sign. Amen? You need to sound the sign. 
Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we welcome your Holy Spirit. Lord, Holy Spirit, we ask that you will come and take lordship of us right now. You are the teacher. You are everything to us. Come and teach us your word. Come and help us to open our mouths in this prophetic declaration service and help us to begin to sound the sign. And because you are the power of God and our Father cannot do anything without you, we ask that you will give us the strength and the grace to begin to sound the sign by your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, and I pray, oh Lord, that you will speak through me even now, oh Lord, as I go through scriptures, Lord, breathe upon this one and breathe upon everyone connected worldwide in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and take all the glory, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and let the church say, Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So, this is your prophetic promises being pushed to bed to you all. This is what we are. We are in right now for, for the next 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It's going to be an exercise, okay? So, if you don't want to see your prophetic promises being pushed to bed, <laughs> and you don't want to hold your baby, you can click X and go, <laughs> and go out. But I want to encourage you to stay, okay? Because I want you all to give that to your babies, okay? Your prophetic promises. Whatever that may be, there has to be a spoken word. Hallelujah. Amen. You must speak what you want if you want to see what you want. You must speak what you want if you want to see what you want. Before we came into this, and the Lord was speaking, he, was, he, he kept on speaking. He kept on speaking. Let there be light, and there was light. Let there be this, and there was that, right? God spoke. And there was God spoke, and there was God spoke, and there was somebody said God spoke, and there was God didn't just come into you know um, existence, and then everything was there the land, the sea, the trees, and everything, and the animals, and then Adam and Eve was just there like, oh, you're God, hey, hi God, no, God spoke, and there was Amen. Sometimes God breaks into things, and that thing come into life. Come on now, somebody, come on now, come on now, family, okay. God spoke and there was. Say that to yourself five times right now. God spoke and there was. 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 Fifth time. God spoke and there was. Hallelujah. So if God spoke and there was, what does that mean? It's time for you to sound the sign. It's time for you to sound the wonders. You want to see the sign of your promise. You want to see the sign that your promise is really going to come through. You must give it a sound. You must begin to speak your faith. Hallelujah. Like we said in our live stream last week, amen. You're going to have to begin to speak your faith. Your faith is in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you because you received the promise when, when our Father God said, I will heal you. I'm your healer. Or he said, you know, I am sending your um, kingdom spouse to you. Amen. So we need to speak what we have received that is residence in our spirit in order for it to begin to come into manifestation and then eventually fulfillment. We have to speak or sound the sign. Somebody says sound the the sign. It is time to sound the sign. Don't let the fact that you're tired and that you've been beat down too many times and that you've been afflicted and that you're still in pain or you're sick or you're heavy in your heart and you've been thinking and been worried and you're tired of praying and fighting and fasting. Don't let that make you not open your mouth and begin to sound the sign because you are in that prophetic hour. Like I said yesterday, we are in the prophetic hour to begin to see what God has said concerning you. You're going to begin to see a sign of it. Many of you have begun to see a sign of the promise being manifested, being released into your lives. Many of you have already seen it. Many of you are about to see the sign and the wonder of what God has already prepared for you that will cause you to wonder. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. John chapter 3 verse 8. John 3 verse 8 says, it says, the wind blows wherever it pleases. The wind blows wherever it pleases. Amen. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from. Or from where it is going, excuse me. You cannot tell where it comes from or from where it is going so it is with every word born of the spirit do you understand what john 3 8 is saying family <laughs> do you 
understand this? The wind blows wherever it blows, but you don't know where the wind is coming from. But you can see, you know, that there's a sign of, of wind. You, you can't even see wind. Can anybody see the wind? Can any of us see the wind? Impossible. You can't see wind. But you see the sign that, that you know, wind is here, right? Wind is around. Amen? Wind is blowing. You can feel the wind, right? For many of us, we can feel that our promises, that our delivery is about to come forth. Double delivery. Triple delivery. Quadruple. My God. Amen. I said yes, the many of you are living to do one thing, but finally God is coming in with two, three, seven things all at once. Don't take my word for it until it happens. Amen. Praise God. So the Lord needs us to understand the same way you don't know where the wind is coming from, but you can feel the wind. Amen. That is a sign that the wind is there. Praise the Lord. It says, it says so it is with everyone born of the Spirit. It says, the wind blows wherever it pleases, wherever it pleases, you hear its sound and, and, and you can feel it, right? You hear its sound. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound. You hear its sound. You hear its sound, but you don't know where it's coming from. But the wind is there. The wind is there. It says, so it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. So it is with you, child of God. You're supposed to function like a spiritual man. Function like a spiritual man. Don't think because you have flesh, you're wearing flesh, then, okay, you know, yeah, I'm just a human being. I'm just human. I'm just human. No, you are essentially a spirit being. Excuse me. You are essentially a spirit being first before human. Okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody be blessed. We are about to go into the main uh, menu of this uh, live stream. Praise God. Psalm 8110 says, It was I, the Lord your God, who rescued you from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it with good things. We need to understand the essence, the need, the importance of opening our mouth wide. So that Father God can begin to, uh, you know, do those things that we are speaking, the good things that we are expecting. Because we open our mouth, Father God would begin to put those good things inside of, of our mouth, starting with the words. Because God is spirit, okay, and His word is spirit. Amen. So as we open our mouth and begin to speak, what is happening is the spirit of God is beginning to, um, you know, cause us to speak goodness. Amen. God cause us to speak the things that he has promised us and they begin to manifest as goodness because it's what says surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives every promise to you from the Lord is good every gift from the Father God is good hallelujah praise the Lord somebody amen if you're coming in just now God bless you and you're welcome go ahead and, um, and, and a like and share God bless you all Romans 4, 17 says, as it is written, I've made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed. The God who gives life to the dead and calls into being, don't lose track now, and calls into being things that were not. The God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. God calls into being things that were not as we already said in the beginning God said let there be and there was amen Acts 14 3 so they remained for a long time speaking of the apostles so they remained for a long time speaking boldly for the Lord the apostles amen the disciples were speaking boldly for the Lord 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 that promise may not have even, you know, given you a sign or shown you anything yet. You may not have seen any sign that, 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 that you know, Father God is about to do something in your life. But are you going to speak boldly is the question. Are you going to begin to, to um, sound, uh, um, you know, um, the sign, sound the promise, amen? Speak speak your faith now, boldly, boldly. He says they, they, they spoke boldly for the Lord, who bore witness to the word of his grace granting signs and wonders to be done by their hands i want to go back one more time to this act 14 3 and please when i'm done with this live stream please you all go
go into the uh, title, click on the title, and go to all the scriptures and spend time on them again. And also pray about the word too. Ask the Lord about this word. Amen. If it's confirmation about what he wants to do in your life. Hallelujah. Acts 14, 3 again, one more time. So they remain for a long time speaking boldly for the Lord. They spoke boldly for the Lord who bore witness to the word of his grace, granting signs and wonders to be done by their hands. They spoke boldly for the Lord. And what, ha and, and what happened after they spoke boldly for the Lord? What happened after that? Amen. There were signs and wonders that were being done. There were signs and wonders that was being done. There were signs and wonders and miracles taking place because they were speaking boldly for the Lord. Because they went about preaching the gospel boldly for the Lord. Because they went about telling everybody about Jesus boldly. And because of that, faith was stirred up. And then all of a sudden, here we go, the signs, the wonders, the miracles, the healing, the turnarounds, the testimonies, everything began to happen because they spoke boldly for the Lord. I didn't say anything. Acts 14, 3 says it all. Amen? They spoke boldly for the Lord and the signs and the wonders came true. It is time to sound the sign. If you want to see the signs and the wonders that Father God has promised you, amen, through your promises, and you want to give back to that promise, it is time to sound the sign. Not just on this live stream, but every single day after this live stream, you begin to declare over yourself, I'm giving back to the promise. I will not die, I will leave. I have a new job, amen. My children are healed. My kingdom marriage is this year, November 30, 2022. I'm getting married January 2023. Amen. I shall conceive in the next three months in the name of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm moving into my new home in the next six months. I'm moving into my new home in three months' time. I decree and I declare because it is written, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto who? You, child of God. It is time to sound the sign. Mark 11, 23 says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt. You can't be sounding the sign and be doubting the Lord at the same time. Come on now. <laughs> but shall believe that, that those things, amen, that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever, whatsoever he said. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Again, speaking and then seeing. Speaking and seeing. There's so much power in your words. When the Bible speaks about if you, you know, um, 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 those who speak of, you know, life and death and, you know, um, you will eat the fruit of it. God wasn't, he didn't, he didn't make a mistake writing that in there. What you say about you, even, even what you think. Do we all know that what we think is what creates our world? Do we understand that, that it's so important for us to think the right thoughts and that's why we keep on saying go into the word of God so your thoughts and your mindset and your mind frame the setting in your mind can be changed if you don't change this it's going to be very difficult for you to begin to see the good things that God has promised you because you keep on speaking from what you have here and and if you have negativity in here then you keep speaking the, the same thing but if you're filled with positivity and you know um right thinking the word of god as well then you begin to speak those out that it, it, it's as simple as that it's as simple as that what you feed on is what you know you are uh, bring forth amen out of the abundance of the heart is, is what comes up you know out of your mouth hallelujah we understand that don't we amen what is in here it, it is what we release on the outwards hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus our last scripture now says John 11 43 says when he had said this Jesus called in a loud voice Jesus called in a loud voice Lazarus come out or come forth the dead man came out his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth wrapped around his face Jesus said Jesus spoke Jesus sounded the sign I don't think somebody got that. I don't know. I don't know if anybody got that. Jesus sounded the sign. He didn't just give thanks to the Father and say, Oh Father, I thank you that you've heard me now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sure I'll see the promise soon. I believe one day to happen. 
I trust in the Lord. So one day it happened. God is told, you know, they parted the Red Sea, you know, and they caused the wall of Jericho to fall down flatter. I trust God. Someday, I don't know when, but I know that God will be soon. How many of us do that a lot? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus, being just give thanks to the Lord is good when you give thanks. It's good when you praise. It's good when you fast. It's good when you worship. It's good when you sing. It's good when you get into the word of God. But that is not enough, child of God. Because let me tell you something. Jesus, he too, for him to be able to see the sign and the wonders, he had to sound it. Yes, he had to sound it. Somebody says, sound the sign. Sound the sign. Hallelujah. Sound the sign. Praise the Lord. He said, Father, I give you thanks, and I know that you've had me. Hallelujah. He put everybody out of there, and what did he do? Lazarus, come forth. Sounding the sign. Let's go. Are we ready now? Do we understand what we're doing tonight? Hallelujah. If you want to sing it, you can sing the sign. If you want to speak it, you can speak the sign. But every single one of us right now and the ones get to watch this live stream, it is time. If you want to see what God has promised you from today, every day from now on, it is time because you are in a very, very interesting, amazing, beautiful, prophetic hour. The Lord is in your midst and you have no idea. But because you are not speaking, you are literally causing a delay of the release of that promise. Because you allow, somebody here is allowing the devil to bring upon them the spirit of heaviness. Are you serious? God's spirit and God's presence cannot dwell in that place. The Lord wants to bless you. Allow yourself to be filled with joy. Hallelujah, somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against that false spirit of depression of heaviness. I come by the blood against that false spirit in Jesus' mighty name. I cover your mind and spirit and soul with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I shake out of your beauty, out of your life, out of your marriage, out of your children, out of your land, of your home. I shake out the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. I loose your chains in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Open up your mouth, child of God. It's time to sound the sign. It's time to sound the sign. I am healed and I am whole. I am blessed. I am favored. Hallelujah. It is the set time to be. Are you all looking at me or you're speaking? Come on now, family. It's time to sound the sign. It's time to sound the sign. If you want to get up, you can get up. Hallelujah. This is all part of you, amen, pushing that baby down to the bed canal. My goodness. If you missed that live stream, go back and watch it. Go back and watch it. It's time to sound the sign. Hallelujah. I'm getting married real soon. I'm getting married in six months. I will see my kingdom spouse. I will see my kingdom spouse. My children, they are here healed my children they are restored my family every single one of them they are saved my nieces and nephews and aunts and uncles they are saved my eldest child is saved my husband is locating me my God, I have food to eat. I am not broke. I'm not poor. I don't live in poverty anymore. I'm coming into my hour of wealth. I'm coming into an hour of overflow. I'm coming into my hour of supply. Devil, you will not stop me. You may have tried to stop me in the, in the past, but I'm telling you something right now. You will not stop me. You will not hold me back. There's no full stop in my life. There is no full stop in my life. I'm going to keep on moving and I will keep on moving and moving and moving and moving for the glory of God because the glory of the, of the Lord God is upon me it's upon me God's glory is upon me God's glory is covering me God's glory is upon me God's glory is coming upon me hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord I'm just getting started I'm just getting started I may have been through the darkest times but I know that my morning is upon me come on now family I know my morning is upon me I I know my morning is up, it is upon me. I'm coming into my morning season. 
F-O-R-O-N-I-N-G. I'm coming into my morning, sister. A new morning is upon me. Because of God's mercies, a new morning is upon me. I've been in the season of darkness for so long, but I'm coming into my new morning. I'm coming into a morning of blessing. I'm coming into a morning of goodness. I'm coming into a morning of turnaround. I'm coming into a morning of breakthrough. Even tomorrow morning, I decree and I declare as I step out of my bed and place my two feet on the ground, there shall be a shaking. There shall be a knock on my door with goodness and favor. Hallelujah. Even tomorrow morning, when I get out of bed and I praise the Lord and I worship my Father, I shall receive good news in my email. I shall get the phone call that I've been waiting for. That job I need, I shall be called for that job tomorrow morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I refuse to be held back. I refuse to be held down. I'm going to keep on soaring high by the Spirit of God like an eagle. I'm soaring higher. I'm going higher. I refuse to remain on the ground. I will not be where I am forever. Are you sounding the sign, child of God? Are you sounding the sign, child of God? That new home that I want to purchase, I will purchase it. I may not have the money now, but I trust in my father that he will make a way for me to buy my new home. I'm trusting God to move to a new place that is very affordable for me and my loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no, I will not be in this car forever. I will not sleep in my car anymore. I decree and declare in four weeks, time i will not be in this car sleeping in the night anymore i will be in my own accommodation in the name of jesus christ of nazareth my children will have food to eat i will not cry the way i've been crying for so long no i'm coming into a season of joy i'm coming into a season of laughter i'm coming into a season of dancing and rejoicing my goodness i'm coming into a brand new season i'm coming into a new season they will hear me loud and clear i'm coming into a new season my prayer life is about to change my God my prayer life is about to change my prayer life is about to change there is a great change in my spiritual life there is a shift in my spiritual life I will pray like I've not prayed before I am gaining weight in the spirit I'm gaining weight in the spirit I'm gaining weight in the spirit I'm a spiritual giant I'm a spiritual giant I'm not going down I'm coming up I'm not going down I'm coming up I'm not going down I'm coming up I'm not going down devil I said I'm coming up I'm coming up and I'm coming up for the glory of the Lord God Almighty I'm coming up higher I'm coming up higher are you all speaking I'm coming up higher I'm coming up higher I'm coming up higher I'm coming up, I'm coming up for the glory of the King of Kings I'm coming up I've stayed down for so long but I say I decree I declare I am coming up I am coming up and nothing's gonna hold me down and nothing will hold me back and nothing will keep me stuck there is no more backwardness, no more stagnation, no more limitation in my life. I am coming up higher. I'm coming up higher. I'm coming up higher. I'm coming up higher into a place of wealth. I'm coming up higher into a place of favor. I'm coming up higher into a place of strength. No more weakness in my life. I'm coming up higher into a place of financial abundance. No more being broke. No more borrowing from anybody in my family or from any money lender or from the bank i'm coming up higher i'm about to be the borrower i'm about to be the lender this is my year of release i am relieved because god said so i'm relieved because god said so my wealth is released my strength is released my breakthrough is released my healing is released that pain has had a hold of me for too long today i'm taking my healing by force in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i am released i am released today's my day of release by tomorrow morning that pain should not be on my body anymore i am released today i am released today not tomorrow today is my day of release devil hear me loud and clear today is my day of release get your hands off my life get your hands off my money get your hands off my property get your hands off my family get your hands off my husband get your hands off my children get your hands off my ministry get your hands off my career get your hands off anything that concerns me devil i'm sounding the sign and i'm sounding the alarm because your time is up and it's my time now to shine. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, we give the glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Things are about to change for the better for me. Things are about to change for the better for me. 
I'm expecting my breakthrough right now. Father God, I'm expecting my breakthrough right now because you said you would do it, Lord. I'm trusting you that you are bringing me into that beautiful time because you make all things beautiful in its time. And I'm believing you, Lord, that you are bringing me into a beautiful time. Tell that to yourself. Father God is bringing me into a beautiful time. I'm coming into a beautiful time. I'm coming into a beautiful time. This year is the year of the Lord's favor. I decree and declare over myself. This year shall not pass me by. I shall see the favor of the Lord in my life. It is the set time. It is the appointed time for my favor. Favor in every area of my life. The Lord God is favoring me. He's favoring me. Father God is favoring me. Are we sounding the sign? Are we sounding the sign? We're in our labor rooms right now. We're pushing. We're pushing. Hallelujah. Come on now. Come on now. We're pushing. We're pushing. Lekato soko harakata sheke neke neke koto koto. Ragado soko pali karabana. If you pray in the spirit, open your mind. If you pray in the Holy Ghost, if you cannot pray in the spirit, begin to call upon the. The, the name of Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 Jesus over my promises. Jesus over my promises. Jesus all over my life. Jesus on my body. Jesus in my soul. Jesus in my spirit. Jesus on my flesh. Jesus on my bones. Jesus. 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 In my children, Jesus. On my kingdom spouse, Jesus. In my kingdom marriage, Jesus. In my career and my destiny, Jesus. In my ministry, Jesus. I've got Jesus. So I've got the promise. I've got Jesus. So I've got the promise. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 The foul spirit of setback is scattered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every setback, after setback, after setback, after setback, enough is enough is enough. Enough is enough is enough. Enough is enough is enough. Put your hands up like this and say enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough of the pain of the sorrow of the lack of the sickness the affliction enough is enough open your mouth child of god and say enough is enough enough is enough in the name of jesus christ devil lose your hold of me lose your hold of my children of my property lose your hold of me satan lose your hold you better get lost in the mighty name of jesus christ of Nazareth. because i refuse to bow down to you i refuse to bow down to you devil i will bow down to the one true God, the living King of peace and Lord of Lords, Yahweh El Shaddai. Hallelujah. Are you sounding the sign? Are you sounding the sign? The money I'm waiting for, I'm going to receive it. It's coming to me. There's about to be an influx of wealth coming to me, coming to my bank account. The way I see my bank account, it's not going to be that way anymore. My goodness. The way I see my bank account would not be that way anymore. I'm about to see twinkle, twinkle, little stars all over me. It's about to be go time for me. I'm moving. I will not be in this flat forever. I will not be in this place forever. I will not be in this neighborhood forever. I'm moving. I said I'm moving. It's my time to move. And I'm moving. Say I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm shifting. I'm shifting. I'm shifting. There is a shift in my spiritual life. There is a shift in my physical life. There is a shift in my financial life. There is a shift in my mental, in my thinking. There is a shift. There is a shift. There is a shift. No, I refuse to stay in one position for too long. No, 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 devil. There is a shift. Somebody said there is a shift. 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 God doesn't stay in one position for too long. He's always shifting. He's always moving. Hallelujah.
mind your own business, stay in the word, pray, do your own thing because the Lord doesn't want to come into a divided church to bless a divided church. It's very serious. You don't know what's going on right now in churches. Just be on your own lane and keep serving Jesus and it's going to come through and bless you as he sees how committed you are. Don't forget Revelations 3.8 as well. Is it 3.8? 3.8. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you mighty, mighty. We love you all so much. I love you. Love you so much. And I'll see you all. I'm not sure it'll be tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Um, by God's grace. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Surely. No, not surely. This is my year of renewal where all things are renewed. I am made new and released into my promise. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen and amen god bless you all if you haven't seen today's videos please go and have a listen they are very important words the first one was about working with the lord by minister tim and the second one was about divine connection for somebody hallelujah finally that's been waiting upon the lord amen by minister tim as well so go and check those out they are on the ministry right now and don't forget cfpp and is now uh, alive amen it's a consuming fire prophetic prayer network and i'm going to be going live monday to fridays at 5 a.m w.a.t to pray on different topics for one hour hallelujah we're going to be starting very soon but go and subscribe to the channel it's now live it's on youtube it's on instagram cfppn online hallelujah cfppn don't forget family amen Let's get us together. It's for the warriors. It's for the warriors. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because our prayers create our world. What we want to see, we must keep on praying about them. Praise God. All right, you all be blessed. May Father God cause his face to shine upon you. Favor upon your life. Bless your home. Bless your family. Bless everything that concerns you. In Jesus' mighty name, don't forget to keep sounding the sign. God bless.